the 2024 Olympics is the festive display of sports and skills celebrated by many countries all over the world. But the internet is furious. Many are angry because of its opening ceremony and many netizens view it as demonic rather than artistic. Welcome dear friends to TIBP Media. Kindly like this explosive update. Foxnews.com says, Opening Olympic ceremony sparks outrage. Drag queens parodying Last Supper gone completely woke. Elon Musk says, This was extremely disrespectful to Christians. One new display on Friday showed what appeared to be numerous performers including drag queens and a large woman in an areola parodying the Last Supper of the Bible. A universally recognizable painting by the Renaissance artist Leonardo da Vinci of Christ and his apostles. WashingtonTimes.com says, Olympics accused of mocking Christianity with drag queen parody of the Last Supper. 2024 Paris Olympics kick off last Friday with the procession of athletes, the lightning of the Olympic torch as usual, and an apparent replication of the Last Supper performed by drag queens. Organizers were strongly accused of ridiculing Jesus Christ and Christianity at large by featuring more than a dozen drag entertainers posing for a scene reminiscent of the painting showing Jesus and his disciples sharing their Passover meal before his betrayal, trial, and crucifixion on the cross. In Dustin Times that says, Netizens furious over Paris Olympics opening ceremony, they said it was disrespectful, garbage, and demonic. Paris Olympics opening ceremony, some acts spark a massive controversy on social media with netizens calling the event absolute garbage. According to the event organizers, the ceremony is the biggest in the Olympic Games history with more than 300,000 watching on the banks of Seine and billions tuned in on television. Velina Tarakova says, commented on X, I'm truly speechless, so disrespectful towards many athletes from other nations at the hashtag Olympic Games. The night before his crucifixion, the friends Jesus isn't a male, according to this parody. Of course, let's turn Jesus into an obese woman according to the article with the halo hovering over her head. The disciples can't be men either according to the parody. Netizens are angered by or upset by this depiction of Jesus and his disciples. It's a pale copy of the original setting where the crowds, the Pharisees and soldiers mock Jesus every step to and on the cross. Dear friends, what does this have to do with sports? Absolutely nothing. There is nothing athletic about this but just blatant mocking of Jesus Christ and His ministry. News.com.au says, Demonic Mockery Paris Opening Ceremony Acts Upsets 2.4 Billion the opening ceremony for the Paris Olympics has come under heavy fire after one act insulted social media users the world over. The ceremony unfolded over four long hours last Saturday as the athletes were paraded down the River Seine. Dancers and musicians perform along the banks and the top monuments around the area. But as criticisms over the river decision piled up, one act in the middle of it all sparked severe backlash. After shifting away from the scenes on the river, the broadcast cameras panned out on a table of drag queens with one in the middle wearing some form of crown on her head and standing in front of DJ gear. On first glance, it appeared to be nothing out of the ordinary but it quickly became evident that the display was a recreation of the mural of Jesus and his 12 disciples. American podcaster Clint Russell wrote, 
this is crazy opening your event by replacing jesus and the disciples at the last supper with men in drag there are 2.4 billion christians on earth and apparently the olympics wanted to declare loudly to all of them right out of the gate not welcome author matt walsh added the olympics opened by making a demonic mockery of the christian faith nfl star and devout christian Harrison Butker shared a screenshot of the act to his Instagram and wrote, This is crazy. One social media onlooker wrote, They are mocking Christians with that Last Supper parody. I assume the blue guy is supposed to represent baby Jesus. In the final days, prophecy tells us that people will be unholy and there will be scoffers of the second coming of Christ. Matthew 26 says, While they were eating, Jesus took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat, this is my body. Then he took a cup. When he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink from it, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. I tell you, I will not drink from this fruit of the vine from now on until that day when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. This is the promise of Jesus to us that He will not drink from that wine until we drink it in the heavenly kingdom. Dear friends, let us not support this evil, disrespectful, blatant mockery of Jesus in the final days. Homosexuality is not a new issue, Paul says. 1 Corinthians 6 verse 9 and 10 Or do you not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived, neither the sexually immoral, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor men who practice homosexuality will inherit the kingdom of God. And such were some of you, but you were washed, you were sanctified, you were justified in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and by the Spirit of our God. Let us be Bible-believing Christians and put all our reverence and respect and awe to the name of Jesus. If you agree with me, kindly type in the comment section, I only fear Jesus Christ. Thank you, dear friends. Kindly share and spread awareness to all of our friends and continue to share truth in Bible prophecy.